Welcome to TFN's Market Insights. I'm Krista Das. Today we'll be talking about the current economic environment and how to benefit from whatever the market throws at you. My guest today is a financial titan from New York who proved to be right when he said to buy market leaders in fast-growing industries. All of this at a time when many bearish analysts were predicting that a recession was just around the corner. Joining me is Stephen Oakes, Editor-in-Chief of Volume Spike Alert and Black Sheep Trader. Stephen, thanks for coming on the show. Krista, great to be with you. Stephen, the overall market appears to have found its legs recently. What do you make of the recent climb to 14,000 for the Dow? Well, Krista, the Dow is currently hovering around that very important 14,000 area, as you'd stated. Uh, the all-time high of 14,121 for this index was set back in mid-July. And it's, time, it's at this level where investors will be watching very closely to see what happens around key resistance. But the major indices should have no problem breaking their previous peaks. I believe one of my previous appearance on this segment, I stated that I had received a long-term buying signal on the Dow in late 2006. I have been dead on and will continue to watch future technical activity until a sell alert is given. How long do you think this rally will last? Well, the current expansion has proven to be very resilient against a whole slew of eco negative economic data. I do believe that we're due for a recession, but that shouldn't come until the end of the decade. At that point, I believe this gloomy outlook will really begin to take its toll on the economy. In the short term, however, the global market should continue to surge and aid investor confidence. Now, you said that the market continues to reform in the face of negative data. What exactly are you referring to here? Well, I was simply pointing to the fact that we're currently fighting against what will soon be a potent credit crunch and exposure to subprime lending. I mean, household debt has been rising to unprecedented levels and our federal government's debt and trade deficits continue to grow. For example, current annual GDP growth of about 4% is overshadowed by the fact that we borrow more than 6% in GDP from other countries. We're currently on an unsustainable path here. Also, there's a negative household savings rate something never seen in the midst of an economic expansion before. Now is the time to start getting your financial house in order if you haven't been doing so already. Trim your debt levels by paying down high interest rate balances first. Also, you might want to construct a budget to help you eliminate wasteful spending. It's, it's just a shame that as a society, we're at a point where personal saving is, is looked down upon. And I say, thrive in your newly discovered frugal ways. To think that an economic boom since 1982 could continue to last well into the next decade would be a grave mistake. The saying goes, those who repeat history's mistakes are doomed to repeat it. In my estimation, you should really begin reallocating assets into fixed income investment vehicles during the first half of 2009. There are plenty of funds out there that have returned somewhere between 5 and 10% over the past 10 years. Keep in mind that you should never trust a fund track record that shows performance data less than 10 years. What you were looking for here is consistency during periods of economic boom and bust. Remember that around 2009, the baby boomer generation will have already begun to retire. At this age, peak borrowing and spending will be well behind them. This is significant when you consider that roughly 60% of our economy is made up of consumer spending. It's better to be safe than sorry. Good information. Unfortunately, we're out of time. For all of Stephen's investment ideas, go to www blacksheeptrader.com. Stephen, thanks again for joining us. Thank you for having me, Krista. And thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week here on TFN's Market Insights. I'm Krista Das for Taipan Financial News. Here's to great profits from smart investing.